It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, May 11th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather about to change. We've gone 11 consecutive days with no rain. We'll probably see some tonight. Let's go in there and check things out. That big trough that has produced wild weather across the southern Great Plains for days is finally lifting out. Don't you know they're glad? And that will bring that chance of showers and storms in here, mainly tonight. That was a look at the uh, severe weather reports from yesterday, 26 tornado reports. And again, that doesn't mean 26 different tornadoes. They'll sort that out after the storm surveys come back. But uh, you can see those tornadoes mainly over Texas, Oklahoma, Iowa, and South Dakota yesterday. And that was a radar at 512 this morning. Big storms over the eastern part of Arkansas. A number of flash flood warnings in effect there, including Little Rock. And we'll just kind of watch the progression of that. We're starting off the day in the upper 60s. You know, uh, last week we had upper 50s. That's a sign the air is fairly moist. And uh, again, uh, we we could use some rain uh, around here, no doubt about that. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches cover much of Arkansas. A number of counties in Arkansas and parts of eastern Texas under flash flood warnings. And of course, back in the cold air where they had big snows, with this storm, they've got uh, frost and freeze advisories for parts of uh, Kansas, Colorado, Nebraska, and points north. Uh, to the west, that is a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of uh, the Texas Hill Country over to the Rio Grande until 11 this morning. In terms of the uh, severe weather outlook, we do note the SPC guys have the standard slight risk of severe weather down to Interstate 59 in Alabama. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden North, a marginal risk all the way down to Montgomery. We are less than impressed with the severe weather chances. The Weather Service in Birmingham is not going to mention it. And I'm not so sure we need to as well, and we'll talk about that specifically as we go. Tomorrow, a marginal risk over south Alabama, south of the front. The surface front should be south of here tomorrow. And the standard slight risk over the southern tip of Texas. Overall rain. For the next five days, for us, about three-quarters to one inch, and this is valid through Saturday morning. And again, the bigger numbers over Texas. Where they, you know, It's been bad. They've had severe weather out there, but boy, they, could, uh, they have really gotten some good beneficial rain over the last three or four days. And we should mention in the tropics, uh, uh, Anna, the system that came into uh, Myrtle Beach over the weekend, is dissipating. The Hurricane Center has stopped issuing advisories that's still producing some rain on the mid-Atlantic coast. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. There's that big old trough on the way out. Still got ridging here, and down below that, we have a surface low way north of here near Minneapolis-St. Paul, a uh, band of showers and storms down through Memphis and Shreveport. Uh, the bulk of the day today should be dry. Uh, we'll forecast upper 80s. By the way, Birmingham hit 90 yesterday for the first time since September 21st of last year. Uh, this is the HRRR, the uh, high-res model, valid this evening at 6 o'clock, and it does suggest maybe a few showers over parts of West Alabama, mainly west of I-65 and mainly south of Interstate 20. So we'll mention isolated showers or storms this afternoon, but the better chance of rain will likely come tonight. This is 4 a.m. tomorrow. And you can see a band of showers and storms coming down into North Alabama. And this is where the SPC guys have the uh, slight risk of severe weather in place. Let's jump, we check just quickly some of the parameters. This is the surface-based instability at 4 a.m. And there's not a lot. Now, we are going to see a lot during the day today. We'll be up there you know, pushing 90 again. But in the morning at 4 o'clock, there's just not much. Uh, the instabilities are gen gen generally under 1,200 joules per kilogram. Not that much for mid-May. And this is the 0 to 3 kilometer helicity, and there's just not much. Uh, and, and again, with the surface low so far north, the dynamics so far north, the timing, you know, pre-dawn, the severe weather threat looks very marginal at this point. And then this is 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, showers should end pretty early in the morning. There maybe could be a lingering spot of light rain that late, but I think most of the rain should be over by 6 or 7 o'clock. And this is the uh, synoptic look tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock, and the northern part of the state should be in dry air. Uh, the sky becomes sunny uh, for, or partly sunny for North Alabama with a chance of showers for the southern half of the state. 
Wednesday should be a pretty nice day. Dew points drop. In fact, uh, the models are suggesting dew points drop down into the 40s. We'll have low humidity. You know, this is mid-May. We're not going to have many more of these kind of days left. Uh, the high will be you know, upper 70s to near 80. That's going to be a very nice day, no doubt. That should be the nicest day of the week. But Thursday, the moisture begins to come back as a new surface low cranks up over the high plains. And uh, we'll probably need to mention at least the chance of a few afternoon showers on Thursday. And Friday, a very moist air mass settles in here, and it's just going to sit for a while. Uh, so for Friday, it will be a day with probably more clouds than sun, a chance of rain at times, maybe some thunder, no severe weather. And this is Saturday. A lot of things are happening this weekend. Uh, this is Saturday, May 16th. And again, a very moist air mass in place. The uh, one thing that impresses us, it's the uh, precipitable water values. Uh, that's the the uh, values there. And you can see they're almost, almost at two inches. That is very high. I mean, uh, very high. So Saturday looks like a day where, understand, it's not going to rain all day. The sun might even peak out every once in a while, but a few passing showers and storms are likely, and I would say the high would be around 80, maybe low 80s on Saturday. So you'll have to dodge some rain at times. And really the same thing Sunday. There's nothing to sweep out the moisture. So again, a few passing showers and storms, but not an all-day washout kind of rain. And the coverage might thin out a little bit as a ridge tries to rebuild. And this is Monday of next week. And you can see uh, really the serious wave action is up in Canada. Down below that, we're still in this soupy, muggy air. Occasionally cloudy, the chance of a few passing showers and storms. The better chance probably Monday afternoon or Monday evening. So, uh, the, and look, you know, we're about to get in the summer and we stay in a humid air mass. So this is about the time for that to happen. Uh, this is the end of the forecast. This is uh, Wednesday of next week, ridging. And again, that looks fairly dry and pretty warm. In fact, uh, look at the... Numbers coming off the ensembles uh, uh, will be cooler this week, but it's got highs cranking up back up toward 90 next week. And uh, here's a look at temperatures, uh, the, the 8 to 14-day outlook. This is from May 18th to the 24th coming from the guys at CPC. And with ridging over the east, it's got above-average temperatures here, below-average temperatures back in the western states where they are under a trough. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.